Hey, what's up, guys? Anime Master Black here. Um, I've never really done a deck video. I know, weird, right? I've never done a deck video because, I mean, I felt no need to flaunt my deck. But, I'll have you guys know, I've created the greatest build of Absolute Zero. This build is unmatched. I mean, for sure it's going to win next jump. I mean, no questions asked. I'm 100% I'm sure, guarantee you, after I reveal this build, everyone's going to net deck it. So just know who thought of it first. I invented this deck. This is sick. All right, let's get it started. All right, we're going to first start off with two dark creators, all right? Dark creator is sick, okay? In this deck, you're going to be using dark creator, busting him out. As soon as you draw him, he's never going to be a dead draw on this deck. Automatically, you're going to get to throw this baby out. One Stratos. Um, Stratos is the one who's going to be opening all your big plays in the deck. One Spine Gilman. Um, because two is too much, you don't want to draw this guy too much in your hand, you just want one floating in the deck. Not only is it copyrighted from Naruto, this is just a sick card to be running in any absolute zero deck. One Shindoji, a plus two in this deck, always a plus two, it'd be dumb not to run Shindoji. One Dark Samorg, cause uh, he fends off sets, um, excellent card, good beater, easy summon. One JD, I know it sounds a little weird. Uh, a JD and an absolute zero deck, one Lumina. That's all you need in this deck is just one. Uh, two would be overkill on your opponent. Oh my god, my Gravekeeper spies are super. You're gonna be running two Gravekeeper spies, um, just because he's super and I have super one, so I'm showing them off. Just because I'm a bad player and having shiny cards makes me feel good about myself. One Celtic Guardian, just because, I mean, he's too good not to run this format. He's Celtic Guardian, um, gets around bottomless, I mean, enough set. I run one Malicious because two is a dead draw, and all you need in this deck is one. One Dancing Fairy, just because there's a lot of OTKs this format, and you want to boost that life as high as you can before they get set up. Another Wind, uh, throw in the grave for some org, um, just good card overall, nice stats, everything. I mean, it's only played in the best decks. One Turchwig, he's really, um, underestimated this format, um... I mean, I feel really pro because I'm teching him in. It's tech, it's tech. I haven't seen everybody and their grandma playing it, but I'm teching it in because it's really good and uh, it makes me feel like a good player knowing that um, I'm teching something. This monster's wings are capable of generating tornadoes! You're going to be running three D-draws. Uh, D-draw, why not? You're running malicious, you got to pro it up, you got to do three, that's how you do it. Three Gladiator Beast War Chariot, just because it throws my opponent off, um, excellent late game, uh, they're not expecting and it just hits them. Trap does shoot, um, super rare, again, because, um, I'm a bad player. Crush, um, just can't win without it, uh, have to run it. Um, if your opponent tries to call you on it, just hide it, that's all you gotta do. Um, I mean, what, it's gonna take, like, a minute for a judge to get there, just hide it and deny it. You know, that's the rule of playing Crush, you hide denied. You have my guarantee this deck will win absolutely zero time. 